I was running away. I was running from him. But where was I running to? My name's Elliot. And this is my testimony. I grew up in church. I went every Sunday with my family. And I liked it. The people were welcoming, friendly. The music was cool. It was a nice environment. But it wasn't much more than that to me. I would go to church on a Sunday, but the rest of the week would come and I'd go back to my normal life. Yeah, I'd tell people I was a Christian. But I wasn't really living like one. When I was 18, I found myself taking a gap year serving at a church. I also took part in a Christian course. I met some lovely people who really looked after me. But because my heart wasn't in the right place, ultimately the gap year didn't bring me closer to God. I found myself pretending so that I could fit in with the other Christians around me. While simultaneously, I was in sexually immoral relationships, consumed by lust. Being selfish, self-centered and vain. I was living a lie. I'd created this life for myself outside of God. Career, dating, hobbies, entertainment. Everything the world could offer me. And for a while I took it. But the satisfaction those things brought me was short lived. I don't know what's going on with me. This year has been so difficult for so many reasons. Often I just feel like giving up. I don't have any sense of purpose whatsoever. What's the point in working so hard? Will things ever even change? I didn't have a direction. But that would soon change. I'd finished a long day of work, fed up and burnt out. So I sat down and prayed for the first time in months. I called out to God. I don't want to live this way anymore. If you're really there, come into my life and transform me. And I will obey you. And then everything synced together. I felt a desire to change the way I was.
that was the moment I officially gave my life to Jesus. From that day forward, I've tried to live my life in a godly manner. Praying, being diligent with my Bible reading, and actively repenting for the sins I commit. Now I understand, God knows I'm not perfect. He knows I do wrong. But he shows me grace. Even when I let him down. But the difference now is, I really don't want to let him down. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin, once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin, and alive to God in Christ Jesus. I found real life, yeah, I found real life. I found it, I found it. Oh,